Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Now, we know that everybody's out here gathered due to the fact of our brother I love Jacob. I've been seeing for our brother Jacob. My whole life. We know our brother Jacob was um, wounded in the streets less than a week ago. He survived. A lot of us, uh, a lot of our people we know was, on a, was in an uproar, was upset, was mad. And it caused a lot of looting, which, which involves stealing, which is against the law. Stealing, looting is actually against the law. I understand our people are upset, but I got to show you the laws. Teacher, all right? bring it out. I have bring to show you the laws. Yes, we got love for our brother Jacob. We, got, we, love, we love our people. But that doesn't give us license to sin. That's right, right. bro. Read what you got. This is Exodus chapter 20 and verse 15. Bring it out. Thou shalt not steal. The Bible says we're not supposed to steal. That is a law. Right. Call it from the top and read it. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 15. Bring it out. Thou shalt not steal. Again, I understand a lot of us are upset, emotional, what happened to our brother Jacob. But according to the law, that doesn't give us license to go out and steal and loot That's and vandalize. Right. That's right. All right? That's a lot of us are in the midst of sin at this very moment. Some of us at this very moment got merchandise in our possession that does not belong to us. Bring it that up. was not bought properly. Bring it Don't up. have no receipt for it. Read it, read it one more time. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 15. Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not steal. Give me the book of Mark chapter 10. 10 and verse 19. Bring it out. Thou Bring shall it not out. steal. Remember, what is the wages of uh, sin? Death. 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 You understand that? So sin, st stealing is a sin. Stealing is a sin. Now, we're going to show y'all, we're going to give y'all some solutions on what to do if you was one of those persons that actually was in the midst of stealing and looting. We got some solutions for y'all to repent. We're going to show y'all how to repent for that thing. Teacher. All right, but read what you got. Mark chapter 10 and verse 19. Bring it out. Thou knowest the commandments. God said, you know the commandments. How many of y'all ever heard that verse before? Thou shalt not steal. By show of hands. Right, you know the, you know the commandment. But yet, you got emotional due to something that happened to our brother Jacob, and you went out on an uproar and started looting and breaking in these stores. When the Bible says, thou should not steal. Read. Read what you got. Thou knowest the commandments. You know the commandments. You heard this before. Read. Do not commit adultery. Do not commit adultery. That's another law. Or fornication. Same thing. Well, similar. That's another law. We're not supposed to do that. All right? Read on. Do not kill. Do not kill. These are laws that we heard before, but we got to exercise them. We got to rehearse the righteous acts. Do not kill. Do not commit adultery. You know these commandments. Read. Bring it out. Do not steal. There it is again. Do not steal. Looting is going into stealing. That's right. All these businesses that y'all broke into, that is stealing. That's looting. That is sin. Read. Do not bear false witness. That goes into lying. Don't bear false witness. God do not like a liar. He don't like that. That's right. Don't bear false witness. Do not bear false witness. No, Read. Hear that? Defraud not. Honor thy father and mother. Honor thy father and mother. Hey, That's you. another very important commandment. You're here because what, what is the benefit of you honoring your father and mother? Let's get to the next one. Hold that. What is the benefit of that? When you honor your father and mother, God promised you something. But when you dishonor your father and mother, he also promised you something. Watch this. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Bring it out. Honor thy father and thy mother. When you respect and honor your father and mother, let's see what happens. 
that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Bible says that when you honor your father and your mother, he gives you long life. You live longer in the earth. When you disrespect your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather, guess what? Your days are shortened. Right. Your That's days are right. shortened. I want everybody to pay close attention. Because yes, we do care about our brother. We understand what happened to our brother Jacob. We feel y'all, we feel our pain, but we gotta show y'all the solutions on how to move in situations like that. That's yeah, right. We're gonna even show you, we're gonna show you why why does something like that happen? Why don't things like that happen to our people? Bring it out. We're we gonna show you. Jeez. The Bible has all the solutions. We're gonna right. show you. Watch this, read. Leviticus chapter 6 and verse 2. Bring it out. If a soul sin uh -huh. and commit a trespass against the Lord. Guess who? Against the Lord. Because when you sin, you sin it against the most high God. That's right. That's when, when you sin, you not only um, steal it from this, like, this person who owned that store, but you actually making the most high God upset. Right. Right. Read what you got. If a soul sin and commit a trespass against the Lord yeah, and lie unto his neighbor in that which was delivered him to keep or in fellowship or in anything taken away by violence or has deceived his neighbor or have found that which was lost and lieth concerning it and swear it falsely in any of all these that a man doeth. Read that last part again. In any of all these that a man doeth, sinning therein, or have found that which was lost, or you found something that which was lost, or you stole something that didn't belong to you, read, and lieth, and then you lie about it, read, concerning it, and swear it falsely, and you lie about it, you said he swear falsely, read, and any of all these things that a man doeth, uh -huh. sinning therein. That is sin. That's right. At the end of the day, it's sin. Right. You got on a pearl that don't belong to you. You got on a pearl that wasn't bought properly. Right. Give me that in Sirach. I think it's Sirach 8 and 5. Let's get that real quick. We got to show our people what they doing wrong. Right. Right. We got to show y'all that. All right? We going to give y'all the reason why we out here. We going to show you why God judged his people the way he judges people. Yes. Right. All right? Read what you got. This is Ecclesiasticus, chapter 5 and verse 8. Bring it on. Set not thy heart upon goods unjustly gotten. Set not your mind upon goods that is unjustly got. Let's read that again. Set not thine heart upon goods unjustly gotten. Don't even think, the Bible tells you, don't even think about taking something that don't belong to you. That's, right. That's what it said. Right. Set not your mind on things, on, on goods unjustly got. In That's other words, right. don't even think about taking something that don't belong to you. Right. Yeah, it look good in that window, it look good in that store, but don't set your mind upon it. Right. Because that's sin. That's right. That is sin. Oh. Now, Again, we love our brother Jacob. We understand why y'all are upset. But we gotta show y'all the solutions on how to move. Teach. All right? What's that? What, what happened to Jacob? What is that called, according to the Bible? Believe it or not, it was judgment. Right. That's judgment. Right. Let's go back to the book of Romans. Let's go back to the book of Romans, chapter 13. I gotta read this to y'all. Because I gotta show y'all that when something happens to you, whether in the street, whether, whether whatever happened to you, it's, it's considered judgment of the Most High God. Right. Don't let that happen by coincidence. That's right. There is no coincidence. Read what you got. Romans chapter 13 and verse 1. Bring it out. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, uh -huh. for there is no power but of God. So, let every soul be subject to the higher power. There is no, there is no power but of God. Watch this. Read. The power that be uh -huh. are ordained of God. Good. So the powers that be, for instance, your, your U.S. Army, the Navy, the, the military, the, the police, the, the FBI, those powers were set up, believe it or not, by the Most High God. Good. That's right. He put them in power. Good. Right. Believe it or not. Read it again. The powers that be are ordained of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Law enforcement is ordained of God. 
Read the verse above that again. Bring it out. But Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Uh -huh. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. I got to beat this in your head. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. Right. Read. For there is no power but of God. Hey, read. The powers that be are ordained of God. Hey, read on. Verse 2. Uh -huh. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now we're getting somewhere. Whosoever therefore that be that resist the power. What does it mean to resist? Give me an example, my brother right here. Give me an example. If the police pull you over and they telling you to comply to what they t uh, to, to, to some commands, and I just walk off, and you walk off, well, what is that called? Resisting. Resisting. Read it again. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, uh -huh. resisteth the ordinance of God. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. It says. You got to read that again. Read that. Hold on. What are we reading? We're reading the Bible. Right. This is in the Bible. Teacher. Read it again. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power. Whosoever resisteth the power. The powers that the Most High God set up. Read. Resisteth the ordinance of God. You think you're resisting the, the powers of the police. You're actually resisting the power of God. Read on. They that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Damnation. You see that? We love our brother Jacob. We right. understand y'all upset, but we gotta show y'all the laws. Right. We gotta show y'all how to navigate. That's we gotta right. show y'all how to conduct yourself. Right. Right. Watch this, read, read that. You gotta read that again. Romans chapter 13 and verse two. Uh -huh. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. You think you're doing something by you yanking away, walking away from the, the, the police. You resisting the powers of God. Read. And whosoever resisteth, whosoever resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. You see that? Read. And they that resist, they that resist, shall receive to themselves damnation. Damnation. It's a consequence. You understand that? Read on. Verse 3. For the rulers are not a terror to good works. We got to read that again. Read that one more time. Read it For out. the rulers. The who? The rulers. The rulers. Are we, are we in rulership right now as Israelites? As a nation of Israel? No, we're not. No, we're not. Because we got to answer to a higher authority. Read it out. So we're not in rulership at this very moment. That's right. Read it again. For rulers are not a terror to good works. The rulers that rule over us today, they're not going to terrorize you for good works. What are the good works? We read it earlier. What's the good works? I'm going to give you a hint. What's the name of it's found in the Bible. It's the laws. The law, statutes, and commandments. That's the good works. As long as you keep in God's law, statutes, and commandments, it says the rulers are not a terror to good works. Good. They won't terrorize you if you're doing thus said the Lord. Right. You won't be terrorized if you're doing what this Bible say do. Right. Read it. Read it again. For rulers are not a terror to good works. You see that? The Sabbath day. That's the law. If you keep the Sabbath day holy, you won't be terrorized. That's right. All right. If you stop stealing, you won't be terrorized. Right. You understand? It's, and we can go into the dietary law as well. Jeez. But read on. But to the evil. But to what? But to the evil. So it said rulers are not a terror to good works, but they are a terror to evil. What is evil? Evil is everything that goes against the laws of God. Right. Like for instance, God say, keep the Sabbath day holy. Meaning no cooking, no buying, no selling. And you do the opposite, guess what? That's evil. So now, right. it's going to be a consequence to that. Right. It's going to be, a, you're going to be terror, terrorized for that. Right. But read up. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Read. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Knowing that, will you not then be afraid of the power? We just, a lot of y'all didn't know this, but now that you know, will you still not be afraid of the power? Free. Now the power we talking about is the most high God. That's right. He just set up. He got he got set up the army, the navy, the military, right. the police, the FBI. Right. He got those set up. Right. But the higher power is the most high God. Free. Right. Do that 
which is good. Do that which is good. What is good? The commandments. That's right. The law, statutes, right. and commandments. Bring it out. Do that which is good. Read. And thou shalt have praise of the same. And you will have praise of the same. Believe it or not, that's when you get a slap on the wrist. Where, okay, just stop speeding. When you're doing good works, okay, no, never mind, keep proceeding. When you're doing good works, when you're keeping the commandments, read. Verse 4, for he is the minister of God to thee for good. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You got to read that again. Sister, I want you to step forward. You step forward, you. Yeah, you, you right there. Come forward. Read what you got. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. It says for he, does it say he? For he is the minister of God to thee for good. This is what a lot of y'all got to understand. Now this is where y'all might fall off the horse, but I might hope y'all understand. It says for he is a what? Is the minister of God to thee for good. The most high God set magistrates over us. That's right. To keep us in order for our good. He said that he is a minister to God for our good. Believe it or not, yes, I know the other nations are in law enforcement. We in law enforcement too. The other nations in all type of uh, magistration uh, would happen. They got many hats. But he said he is, is a uh, minister unto us for, for his good. Read it one more time. I'm sorry. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. Believe it or not, the so-called white man is the minister unto God for, for our good. I understand, yes, we was oppressed. We still oppressed. We went through child slavery. We got our backs cracked with whips. Yes, I understand that. But guess who that was ordained by? Believe it or not, guess Bring who? It out. Who? Yes, Bring it, out. it was ordained by God. Yes, right. Come, come closer, come closer. I want y'all to come closer. Because I want y'all to take a look at these depictions right here. I want y'all to see what's on these signs right here. Believe it or not, I'm going to say it again. Even child of slavery, physical slavery, that was ordained by God. We're going to read it. That's right. Let's read that again and we're going to we're gonna jump to that. Watch this. Read, read it again. Romans chapter 13 and verse 4. Bring it out. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. Who is that he? That he is talking about the so-called white man. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. He is a minister to God for our good. Read I'm going to show you that. Now, is it more on that? Read. But if thou do that which is evil, but if you do that which is evil, which means breaking the commandments, read. Be afraid. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Because he just said that he is a minister unto God for his good. In other words, this man is set in place to keep us in order. Right. That's right. It's sad, but it's true. Right. Read. For he beareth not the sword in vain. He don't carry a gun for nothing. The, the law enforcement has guns on their hip. They has tasers on their hip. All right? They don't carry that for nothing. Read it again. For he beareth not the sword in vain. Today the sword will be translated into the gun. He don't, he don't wear the gun for nothing. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.